Corey was added to my show, and I think this is a brilliant idea because in, for those of us out there who want to get creative when it comes yes. to our landscaping, the townhome association I live in, I mean, they're great townhomes, but you can tell the people who spent a lot of money oh, on yes. their yards. <laughs> Because they have these custom pathways, mm -hmm. and now we can actually do this, can't we? Oh, we, you can. As a matter of fact, you can do it better than any other thing that's available at the home improvement stores. Because let's face it, when it comes right down to it, you'd love to have a different look than the five million other people that have shopped there and, and paid four dollars a piece for their pavers. Yeah. We are giving you a way to do that with custom molds that you pour concrete into and can create a pathway, even a porch or a patio right there oh. in your backyard. You see how she's doing it. Yeah. She lays the mold down, then she mixes up her concrete, makes it kind of soupy so it pours in real easy. Yep. Then all you do is you grab a board, it can be any old board, you pull it right across the top to get the extra concrete off, okay. you smooth it out with a trowel or a garden spade, Pull that mold off. That is what you're left I with. I can absolutely do that. Beautiful. Oh, not only can you do it, but you'll be amazed how easy it is and how beautiful it oh, turns out. Oh, look at how cool that and is. And then there's cracks that are intentionally left between it, so you can fill it with anything you want. Oh, yeah. You can fill it with sand. You can fill it with gravel. You can fill it with dirt and throw grass seed over the top and have grass grow up between it. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's such an amazing way to create that customized look that you see right there. Now, you do have a couple choices, okay? okay? So the first one that you see in front of me here, this is actually the cobblestone. Stone okay. choice. That's what we saw in the video, right? That's right. Okay. And you get two of them so that you can leapfrog them over each other. Now, you see, they fit like a puzzle. So, if you wanted a two foot wide pathway, you would put them together like this. Right. But if you wanted a more narrow pathway, you can swing them around and put them together oh. like this. Now you have an 18 inch pathway. Or you can put them in squares. You can do two here, and then you okay. can put one here, and you can put one here. Yeah. You can create an entire patio in your backyard oh, with cool. this customized cobblestone look. Okay? okay, so that's one choice. Right. The other one is a I more like geometric, this. more contemporary shape. This is called the Belgian. Just okay. think of a waffle, okay? It has all those little squares oh. in it, okay? Very contemporary, very beautiful looking. Once again, you can do a two foot wide path. You can do the 18 inch wide path. Okay. The big thing to keep in mind is that if you do the Belgian, then you can only make right angle right. turns. Right. Whereas if you use the cobblestone, which was the first one that I showed you, yep. you can actually make slow meandering turns sure. around your yard with it. Right. And there are instructions to tell you how to do that. I want to take you over here and Let's show you firsthand. Okay. Okay. How this is done, okay? Hey, by the way, because Pat, we so also simple. have the mixer, right? I mean, yes. in fact, I don't yes. know what the item number is because uh, this was added to my show. Okay, so oh, so your choice, that's also only $29.95. You know, there's a home show in the Tampa Bay area this weekend. If this were at that home show, they'd be charging 100 bucks for it. I yeah. mean, they oh, really would. There's and, no doubt about it. And people would be going crazy over it. Okay, so talk about okay. what you're going to do next. Now, the barrel, this is the secret to making a daunting job. People think working with concrete, oh my gosh, it weighs a ton, it's so messy. This is what makes the whole thing a piece of cake. Okay. This mixing barrel is the ticket. Here's what you do. You dump one bag of concrete inside, 40, 50, or 60 pound, doesn't matter. Right. On the lid, this is your measuring cup. It tells you right here. Oh. For a 60 pound bag, three quarts. Oh, for that's a 40, 40 pound bag, two quarts. And then it has little designations inside. So you just fill the lid with water and you dump it in according to the instructions oh, on top. Smart. Okay. You put this lid back on the barrel. You seal it up just like this. Then you lay the whole barrel on its side and you kick it around your yard with your foot. All you have to do is roll it on its side. 60 seconds. That's all it takes. One minute. You will have perfectly mixed concrete every single time. And because it's a barrel, you can lay it on its side and roll it yeah. over to your job site so you're not hauling concrete around. It makes the whole thing so simple. So, once again, here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your mold down. You're going to mix up your concrete, make yep. it kind of soupy, and then pour it into your mold. Okay. You're going to use a board. We call this screeding in the world of masonry. Okay, it could be any old board. This used to be a, a door jam or something. I pulled yeah. it out of my garage. All you're going to do is kind of like you're cutting bread. Just kind of sure. saw it right across the top. It'll okay. pull all the extra concrete off the top. Just kind of level it off. All right. That's it. Then you pick up. Now, I bought this at a home improvement store. This is a mason's trowel. I paid $3 for it. You don't even need this. You can use a little garden spade, sure. whatever. You yeah. know. Okay. All you're going to do is just pack the concrete into the corners to okay. make sure it's all filled in properly. This is you're neat. using quick dry concrete. So you wait two minutes. Okay. Count them. Two. That's it. All right. Then you grab your mold. You give it a wiggle yeah. one way. You give it a wiggle the other way, and when you pop it off, this is what you're left with underneath. Oh, come Isn't on! Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that great? All right, you know what? I can't even scrapbook, but I can do this. Oh, anybody I mean, can I'm, do this. Really? I mean, this is this is as easy as it gets. And most importantly, you're going to get that wonderful curb appeal. You're going to get that great landscape appeal. I mean, 
if you live in a townhome association like I do, I mean, it's great they maintain the property and so forth, but I don't like the fact that everything looks the same. And, That's right. You know, especially if you do, if you're doing a backyard, you know, patio area or a poolside area, and you really want to customize that look. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that anybody, without, you know, with or without any kind of, you know, home or contracting sure. skills, can do this. And you can even get really creative. Oh, with you it can. Too, can't you, you absolutely can. I mean, you can see this little girl here putting all kinds of decorations on top. I'm going to show you a few <laughs> more ideas fun. in a moment. I like that. What I have to stress to you is that anybody can do yes. this. My mother. In law, okay, 63 years old, and she has gone right across her backyard with this. I want to show you the, the, the prop that I built here next to me, okay? okay, because you must understand that this piece right here took me 15 minutes to make, and Is I had two it? children hanging off me the whole time. <laughs> this one took me 15 minutes to make. This one took 10 because I finished it on the air for you to see. It's kind of rough. I didn't finish it in. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Now, that's with two children working by myself. If you were working with another adult, 10 minutes, 10 yeah. minutes, 10 minutes, you go right across your backyard in yeah. the afternoon. You really would. And your, your neighbors can go, oh, you know, who'd you hire? How much right. did you spend? Look at how beautiful and this is. Look at how pristine it is. I mean, really, there is there's a huge home show in the Tampa Bay area this weekend. And no, no kidding, they would be selling something like this for like $100. There's and, no doubt about and, it. You know, and then, moreover, they'd be asking, okay, well, when do you want the contractor to come to your house? When do you want somebody to put right. it in? And then you're on somebody else's own time and dime. Now you can have the freedom, the creativity and the flexibility to do it all of your own. You absolutely now, can. what do you have here, Corey? I was looking at this earlier. This yeah, now this is, uh, this is actually just some of the ideas that you can use when you make your concrete pathway, okay? Yeah. This is my 11-year-old's hand. She is oh. now 12. This is my 4-year-old's foot. He is now 5 going on 6. Imagine when he comes home from college oh. and lays his enormous foot on top of that, and, you know, he's immortalized here. Oh. This is what you can do. I, wanna, I actually want to create a pathway with my children's footprints all the way across the backyard. Oh. Oh, Wouldn't that be precious, you know, I while they're still young? Here's idea. another idea. You can actually, oh, by the way, you saw this one is red. It's red because I actually used concrete dye. If I took a sledgehammer and broke this piece of concrete open, it would be red through and through. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. This cost me $2, concrete color. It's a powder that you mix in with your concrete when you're creating it, and it dyes it any color you want. You can do green, you can do red, you can do brown, anything you okay. want. Just another idea. Here's a neat thing. I actually bought 100 pounds of this for two bucks, okay, at a home improvement store where you would expect to pay the most. All it is is called pea stone because it's the size of peas. Oh. When your concrete is still wet, you just pour it on top, smash it down with your hand, and this is what you're left with. It looks like a spa pool deck or something, you know? This is a very high end look. Just some ideas that you can oh, do when cool you're making looking. your concrete. Oh my gosh. Right. So I would imagine if I want, though, I could buy more than one mold system if I wanted. Oh, of course you could. So but if you we want do to give buy you two. Multiples. Right, you get two, but if I wanted to, you know, go kind right. of crazy, oh, right, you, why not? you absolutely could. Now, the reason we give you two is so you can leapfrog them while one is drying, yep. put the next one down, sure. pour that one, then pull this one off, leapfrog it over, yeah. put it over here, and you can move right across your backyard in yeah. a snap. By the way, completely indestructible plastic. I'm telling you, if there's ever been an indestructible plastic, this is it right here. Yeah. It will last you a lifetime. It's very rare that I actually have both of these in my own garage at any given time because everybody who sees what these do, they want them. Yeah. And I can't even keep them yeah. at my house. They're, as a matter of fact, one of these and the barrel is at my mother-in-law's house right now. She's still <laughs> really? working across the backyard. She's got like a 70-foot <laughs> pathway and she's still going. Oh, I mean, man. it's amazing. But it's so cool because if, if you are a gardener, I mean, you could wind your way around the garden. You could wind your pathway around the pool. Yes, the you could. Patio. I mean, you can get so creative and so flexible. Of course, this is a cobblestone. That's uh, what we've been focusing on primarily. And then we also have that waffle design as well. So remember, $29.95. You pick and choose which pattern and you pick and choose whether not you'd like the mixer but of course you're going to want the mixer as well yes but goof proof easy fun creative and you want to add curb appeal to your home if you're trying to sell a home certainly no guarantees but this gives you that upscale dynamic look that you expect in a custom home it, it really certainly does. does real quick class once again how to do this it is a piece of cake okay you buy your bag of concrete you throw it in your barrel you mix it with the water that's designated on the top. This is your measuring cup. You lay that whole barrel on right. its side and you roll it. My seven-year-old lays it on its side, rolled it to the neighbor's driveway and back. By the time he got back, it was perfectly mixed. Yeah. 60 seconds, that's all it takes. That's it. Roll it to your job site, then lay down your mold. 
pour your concrete in. Take a board, it can be any old board. Just pull it right across the top to scrape off extra concrete. Then take either a garden spade or, you know, this cost me $3, a mason's trowel. Pack it into all the corners. Wait two minutes. That's all it takes, two minutes, because it's quick dry concrete. And then you give your mold a wiggle, you wiggle it the other way, and when you pull it off, this is what you're left with, this gorgeous, gorgeous look.